should be up by now. Let's see. Let's see what it's, it's quite warm in here, isn't it? It's only 6-7. Go on then. Oh, right, in you go. Now then, what's going to be in here? Ah, look, here's the cat. Here's the cat. Poor, it even smells musty. Oh, listen, I can hear the old man snoring. Can you hear him snoring? Look, it's nearly 12 o'clock. Oh, I know, the tide's gone out. Well, if you're going to stay, keep your noise down, because you'll wake Mr. Cross. And if you wake him up, he'll be pretty cross, I can tell you. He's been working real hard lately, and the last thing he wants is you lot disturbing him. Well, I suppose I'd better introduce myself. I paused the brewery cat. We've been trying to sort out all these papers that were left when the brewery closed. Trying to catalogue them, so to speak. It's real quiet, you know. It used to be sippy fog. When it begins to strike, I'll say the magic words, and it'll open up the way to the past. Then the other lives will take you on a journey through time. Keep your eyes and ears open and stay on the path. I'll catch up with you later. Old Devonish clock of ages, seen through the glass. Open your secrets to those who would pass. Tell us the date, the place and the deal. As you take us through us a magical sea. Oceans of time, oceans of sea. Over here. Look. Here, up here. Oh. No, up here. Oh, there. Good day to thee there, my beauties. Wink, wink, roly be the name. I was just saying, with the subway to treat a hero like me? Still, it's quite interesting in here, I suppose, being full of this Weymouth maritime mixture. But. Good job he's not a real one, but that's how they used to be. What's happened to the sound? What's that for the sound? Bring out your dad! We're on board a ship. Can you hear the timbers creaking? Oh, what are you English heretic pigs doing aboard my ship? This is Spanish. I'm Jose Cortez, cabin captain of the famous Spanish galleon, the San Salvador. Real, real 958 tons, ten times heavier than your silly little ships. I am guarding the Spanish imperial gold that will finance the invasion of your country. Oh, he got shot. He got shot. He got shot. Look, all these men. Oh no! This is horrid! The explosion has wrecked my beautiful ship! Straight. Come through here. Oh, 
Watch him, mates. Up the stairs over here. Look lively now. That's what happened. But it looks as though a spark must have lit some of the San Salvador's gunpowder. And up she went. They say she was carrying most of the gunpowder for the Spanish fleet. The explosion was at over six miles away, right down in Abbotsford. It killed over 200 men. And as for Jose Cortez, <laughs> he's rotting in Weymouth Dungeon along with the rest of the wretched crew. At the Battle of Portland today, the Spanish fleet were no match for our fast and English ships. They were expecting the usual kind of sea battle. Fire up a few cannons, throw over the grappling irons, and heave to for man-to-man -man fighting on deck. But we just kept sailing past, firing round after round, a new way of fighting at sea that will last for centuries, or better. In the end, the Spaniards abandoned the San Salvador and sailed off up the channel towards the Isle of Wight. So we told them to wave the bay for some lively looking. And as you can see, we've been collecting a few souvenirs. The Spaniards rescued some of their gold, but there was enough left on board to give these lads some good exercise. <laughs> Done by Wednesday week by any stretch of the imagination. Ben, 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 I feel the far too kind to these local types. They don't deserve him as their local member of Parliament. Hey, come on, you shouldn't be down there. <laughs> See, the cat will chase you out. I 
shouldn't tread on that, you might fall through it. Oh, <laughs> 